Two weeks ago, the European Union Embassy in Israel released a video by the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, to commemorate the foundation of the Israeli state. Nearly every single thing she said in it was a lie. It's time those lies were called out directly. 75 years ago, a dream was realized with Israel's Independence Day. Between 1947 and 1949, three quarters of all Palestinians living in historic Palestine were systematically uprooted and violently expelled from their homes and villages by Zionist militias. Over four million acres of land were stolen, 400 towns destroyed, hundreds of Palestinians massacred during the events that led to the creation of the Israeli state. This may have been the realization of a dream for Zionists, but for Palestinians, it was the beginning of a nightmare that has continued for over 70 years. The invasion and destruction of their homeland and their transformation into a colonized people. These events are known to them, not as Israeli independence, but as the Nakba, the catastrophe. Describing the Nakba as a dream is a provocation, a deliberate and cruel insult to millions of Palestinians all over the world. It is unacceptable and must be condemned. After the greatest tragedy in human history, the Jewish people could finally build a home in the Promised Land. A German politician describing the Holocaust as a tragedy is Holocaust revisionism. It's a denial of responsibility for carrying out that crime. A tragedy is a terrible but unavoidable event for which no one is really responsible. The Holocaust, however, was the most ambitious act of deliberate mass murder in history, the extermination of most of Europe's Jews by Nazi Germany. That's not a tragedy, it's a genocide, a crime against humanity. German politicians are the leading Zionists in Europe today, from right to left, German's political class back Israel through thick and thin. In return, the Israeli state is expected to help the German establishment to leave its Holocaust guilt in the past. But the Holocaust can't be shrugged off like this, and Israel's crimes against Palestinians cannot and will not be ignored. 75 years of dynamism, ingenuity, and groundbreaking innovations. You have literally made the desert bloom. Israel did not make the desert bloom. The very phrase, make the desert bloom, is an infamous Zionist lie, which denies the prior existence of Palestinians in their own homeland. It's so brazen in its revision of history that it's the equivalent to proposing that the earth is flat. And to hear a notorious propaganda lie like this come out of the mouth of the President of the European Commission is beyond disgraceful. Palestine before the occupation wasn't empty. It wasn't a land without a people for a people without a land. It was continuously inhabited for millennia by diverse peoples and communities, including Muslims, Christians and Jews. It has a rich, proud history, culture and traditions. The region was blooming long before the Zionist occupation and it still blooms despite it. Europe and Israel are bound to be friends and allies. Your freedom is our freedom. Seriously? Israel's freedom is Europe's freedom? Where does that leave Palestine? The calculated insensitivity to Palestinian experiences in this address is quite blatant. The message von der Leyen wants to convey is, if you're Palestinian, the European Union doesn't care about you. Well, let's be very clear about this. That's another lie. Many, many people in the European Union do care about you. Many of us want nothing to do with a disgraceful apartheid regime. Ursula von der Leyen doesn't speak for us. And she's no right to say these things on behalf of the 447 million citizens of the EU. Today, we celebrate 75 years of vibrant democracy in the heart of the Middle East. From the brutal attacks against worshippers at Al-Aqsa Mosque, to the settler violence against Palestinian communities, to the assassination of Palestinian journalists, to IDF murders in the streets, to attacks on the funeral processions of Palestinians shot dead by the IDF, to the shock and awe airstrikes on densely populated Gaza, 
to the most extreme right-wing government in Israeli history, tearing up the independence of the Supreme Court, the image of Israel as a democracy is crumbling before the eyes of the world. Von der Leyen describing Israel as a vibrant democracy now, at this moment, is protesting too much. It only makes it clearer what we already know. Israel is not a democracy. 4.5 million Palestinians living under Israeli occupation don't have a vote. Even Palestinians who are Israeli citizens are subject to a qualified set of rights because they are Palestinians. This isn't democracy. This is apartheid.